Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the channel Benny Dome by Anna, where we share with you a lot of interesting and useful information, as well as watching some lovely places here in Spain. Today, it's time as every Monday and Friday for the latest news update from Spain and Benny Dome's town. What has happened in the past couple of years? days that you might be interested in knowing first of all i want to say about this situation we don't really hear as much about covid we don't really hear as much about uh, monkeypox you can find these news but they are not on the titles like big titles in the newspapers they're not the main news to be considered or worried about so um everything kind of seems fine even though a lot of people right now have covid uh, even at work at my hobbies like in the hotels uh, in bars and restaurants a lot of workers even have it they work with the mask i've seen lifeguards working with the mask with the ffp2 mask so um i mean it is still there it's just people don't talk about it any longer so um We've normalized the situation almost completely in this case. Apart from that, uh, people are still arriving. There is a lot of tourism in here. And I do want to say that um, all these uh, slightly negative news, you know, that were coming uh, from Spain and in general European Union for UK, you know, that now that it's not European Union any longer, um, did not stop so far people from traveling maybe in the future who knows i mean people have booked these holidays for quite a long time so maybe for the next holidays during the booking this will kind of um be seen slightly more but right now it's not the case benidorm um and all the regions basically have a lot of tourism sometimes it's even too much of people in here for every square meter but it is what it is it's summer bars and restaurants are also working non-stop and we've also had a first um energy save up night and day we've had already first 24 hours uh, and it was very very interesting to see different towns and cities of spain how um, many of them did turn off the lights and a lot of streets uh, for example i have here a picture from madrid capital as you can see, these streets were uh, with way less light than they normally are. A lot of businesses shut down all the uh, like the entries, all the lights uh, on the inside, so you could see the difference. However, not all businesses did so. Not sure why. Uh, maybe because they need to have the cameras on if they have some food inside, like the uh, fridges, you know, fridge cameras, um, or for some any other reason that they need to have it. But apart from that. It was kind of good. People did not go less to shopping malls. People did not go less to bars and restaurants. Everything remains basically the same. So um, it was kind of a scary news. We did know, not know how to take it. And a lot of people were saying that it's not good. But so far, everything seems to be quite okay with it. The next news that I wanted to share with you all is about what's happening in bars and restaurants with ice cubes. This is the news that... Um, started to circulate around different hosteleria businesses for the next couple last couple of days um, and it's happening in all parts of spain on the islands slightly less but here on the peninsula as it is it's happening in a lot of parts especially right now in summer what basically happened is that we have um, a few companies that provide ice cubes for hosteleria businesses uh, and usually what they do is during all winter, they work non-stop, they freeze, they prepare them, they stock them, they pack them and maintain them there. And by summer, they start distributing all these giant quantities, you know, for one, the tourism actually kicks in quite hard. Uh, what happened this time is that due to electricity rise, uh, the cost for electricity, the cost of production um, went up so, so much that they reduced the, produ the production of these ice cubes. So uh, there were way less cubes um, than there were previous years. Also, after pandemics, I think they underestimated the amount of people that will be coming on tourism, that will be using bars and restaurants. And... Um, Probably this is what actually happened. Right now, the situation is that um, in bars and restaurants, some of the places uh, are charging for ice cubes. Can they do so? That is the main question right here. And the answer is obviously yes. They can do so according to the laws, according to the Organization of Consumers here. Um, however, they need to tell you in advance. Imagine you come to a bar, you ask for 
Fanta with ice. I don't know, some kind of a drink, refreshing drink, whatever it is. Coffee on ice, uh, iced coffee, um, I don't know, whiskey on the rocks, whatever, you know, with ice. And um, at this very moment, they need to tell you, okay, but ice costs blah, 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 like one euro, two euros, two fifty a glass. Um, and you need to decide whether you want that ice cube, whether you don't want it, so you just want the refreshing drink to be served as it is from the fridge, it's cold already, however you won't have any ice cubes. Or you can decide, okay, I don't want to be here, I'm going to go to the bar in front that doesn't charge me for the ice cubes. Um, this is basically the situation. The, uh, I'm not going to say it's not only here in Benidorm, it's throughout all the entire Spain, you know, the demand of ice cubes went really, really up. Uh, in a lot of places they don't even sell them any longer as it is be because before you could buy in shops like bags and bags with ice cubes right now even if you go to Mercadona supermarket any other supermarket you will see that there are barely any ice cube bags left if any um, just due to this simple lack bars and restaurants that don't charge for ice cubes uh, have been putting way less quantity for example if before they, they could put you like three ice cubes in a glass like this now they put just one uh, because there is not a lot of it and it's really really expensive due to production costs so they cannot permit themselves basically to do that the companies they cannot permit themselves the businesses in general they cannot permit themselves to give ice cubes like this you know because there is just not enough of them and a lot of them start to charging for this service i mean i get it uh, business owners don't forget that business is business uh, and um, people are not just selling drinks you know and serving them because they love their job obviously that will be the case as well in a lot of uh, the cases if they do hosteleria it's because they love it the, the majority of the cases the business owners um, however it's also their business it's also their bread so i get that if they're being um, given such a high cost for the ice cubes they need to um, take this money out of somewhere you know a lot of places if they don't charge directly like they don't say that i charge you for a glass of ice cubes because that sounds um really strange especially for tourists you know um locals might understand it because they know the situation spain is in however uh, for a tourist it's slightly more difficult um and they what they are doing is they just uh rise up the cost of the drink like by 30 20 cents maybe more or less um orientative and like this they don't say they charge extra they have already this price included in the drink so this might also be the option uh spain has difficult situation right now a lot of countries are and um you know with the rise of prices with the energy costs even though european union has authorized to put like a top price like a ceiling price um, on the energy costs in Spain and Portugal however does not seem to affect us so far which is not good but it is how it is and this is how hosteleria owners are basically affected by it the prices are still rising in general in Spain they did not stop so probably in the next coming upcoming days we'll have two interesting videos here on the channel first one will be um, of prices in bars and restaurants we'll have a lovely walk down Benidorm city center old town Levante beach probably uh, different points of Benidorm and we'll see how much meals cost and how much drinks cost right now here so that you could pre-budget your holidays and know more or less what kind of amount of money you might be spending when you'll be coming in here and the next one is the night video from night Benidorm uh, where I'll show you if there is a huge difference uh, between before and after the energy savings plan and the last update that I wanted to let you know is what's happening with hotel bookings right now in general. I've told you at the beginning of the video that uh, Benidorm and in general Spain is looking quite busy. However, our Valencian region is starting to put the signs of fully booked for the first time for about 30 months. So it's more than two years, two and a half years. Uh, this did not happen like from the last moment, uh, like really, really before pandemics hit us. Uh, quite hard especially hotels and tourism business um, and right now for the first time a lot of the places put fully booked 
it's quite difficult to book some of the dates right now especially this weekend this weekend we have a um, holiday here in spain it's called puente when basically we combine the weekend with some of the work days and we make like a bridge you know a bigger holiday and fiesta spanish people love that uh, so we have a lot of these type of holidays but this one is a national holiday that is being celebrated in a lot of different parts a lot of different con european countries do celebrate this holiday and here uh, obviously during weekend it's not going to be a work day in terms of um like businesses as it is but touristic businesses will obviously be open to uh, shops for tourists for shopping um all bars restaurants and all this type of thing will be obviously open on these dates and it's a really really important day because this saturday we have the amazing fireworks in altea this huge event that uh, sometimes gather up until 60,000 people in one single night um that is at the end of altea i've told you already about it in the previous news update this monday so go and check it out if you did not see that one um and this is going to be truly spectacular fireworks coming from the sea coming from the mediterranean sea directly 20 minutes of show uh, that a lot of people will be checking on so this weekend is extremely busy you can barely find any kind of even apartments uh, apart hotels like everything everything is almost fully booked and if you are looking for some last minute escape you might be seeing that the prices are quite high um, for different establishments even though even if it's like a private apartment for rental or villa uh, especially because august is the busiest month of all uh, i was able to see that a lot of the places are already pre-booked for quite a while ago uh, and if not the prices went up just as crazy uh, so you need to check really really well try and book with a little bit of time in advance because if you do last minute holidays in here it's quite probable that you will not have such a big selection and that the prices will be um, quite increased as well also don't forget if you are coming right now during august month to benidorm and you love to explore you love to visit some events you don't want to just sit down on the beach although there is nothing wrong with that one at all some people love beach holidays and relaxing holidays but if you love music if you love some events some shows some cinema you know some uh, uh like children fairs go to uh, tourist information right here at the end of the levante beach in benidorm and ask them which kind of events do they have so they could give you some brochures you know because right now in summer we have amazing events both for families just for couples um for adults and for children for every single age of all um and it's just really really nice it's something special something unique that you can make here in benidorm during your holidays and now let's talk about the weather the weather um is not giving us not every single minute of relief i must say and right now we have already officially the fifth heat wave here in spain there are barely any clouds today and as you can see the buildings still give us some shade which is why a lot of people are walking down the lovely levante beach right now and enjoying the beautiful views of the mediterranean sea however starting from tomorrow we might get more and more clouds and it's not going to be raining in here however um, it will be cloudy which for a lot of us uh, is a good sign because we'll be able to spend slightly more time uh, on the outside however getting the um, clouds in here doesn't mean it's going to be cooler than it is right now uh, it's exactly the other way around we have this new heat wave that will bring us more than 40 degrees during this weekend uh, exactly starting from tomorrow we'll have around 40 degrees here in the zone and the real feel of this temperature is even more than that due to the high humidity that we have in here uh, the temperatures today here will be around 34 35 degrees which is not much comparing with what is waiting for us tomorrow and during the weekend the good news is that these temperatures will start decreasing by wednesday so it's only during this weekend when we'll have like the worst part of this heat wave uh, in alicante we'll have around 34 degrees in 
Barcelona 33, Granada 41, Malaga 32, Sevilla 39, Madrid 37, Murcia 39, Balearic Islands 33, Canary 24 to 29, Valencia 38, wow, Valencia, one hour and a half hours from us, we'll have 39, 38 degrees. Uh, and uh, tomorrow, as I've said, it's going to be the worst day. Afterwards, it's going to be around the same temperatures that we have here right now. Uh, and the water temperature is of 29 degrees today. Still ideal for swimming and it's going to maintain like this for a really, really long time, probably up until mid-September for sure. By the way, really, really important notice I want to make on this very part. Um, the sea can look quiet, it can look calm, you know, in some places here, um, especially in Albir, we have quite a lot of waves. You need to be really careful because in the last 48 hours, uh, more or less 10 people lost their lives while swimming in the sea. Uh, it's really serious. You can think that, oh, it's not going to happen with me, but trust me, you never know. Uh, don't go to the sea if you ate immediately after you've eaten don't go to the sea because you can get indigestion and you can just uh, like the body can collapse you know um, don't go to the sea if you've just had uh, some kind of warm drink like warm tea or warm coffee hot coffee don't go immediately to the beach as well because your body temperature is not the same um, if you don't stay a lot on the sunshine you know if you stay on the sunshine use your sun hat use uh, an umbrella something you know for you to protect yourselves because staying a lot on the sun uh, can cause a lot of health issues you can just pass out in the water and which is basically happening a lot of the cases so um, be really really careful because this is happening everywhere here around mediterranean uh, area and um, you know you need to protect yourselves it is summer you need to have fun but you need to think twice when you go to the water because a lot of people um you know are having very unnecessary stressful situations with this and if you were drinking before which is totally fine um if you feel that you are already dizzy you know that you had enough of drinks don't go to the water because this is also one of the main reasons why um lifeguards cannot do anything to help these people that went down to the sea in this condition so be careful on your holidays to Benidorm and Spain. This was the latest news update from Spain and Benidorm town. I hope you enjoyed watching it and I hope you got to know some useful information for your future holidays in here. I wish you a lovely and positive beginning of a new weekend and we'll see each other already on Sunday with one of the two videos that I've mentioned in today. Which one it's going to be? It's a surprise. I'll see you then. Bye.